In this tutorial, we will draw a basic part using the loft feature. So we will start by drawing in a number of planes, and then we will draw a sketch on each of those planes, and then we will loft between those sketches. So let's select a plane. In this case, uh, let's select, let's do the XY plane. I'm just gonna turn on the visibility, so right click visibility. Then let's go to 3D model, and we'll go to plane, and we'll offset a new plane from the XY plane. Let's do a distance here of 25 mil, zoom out a little bit, and let's do exactly the same from this plane, so 25 mil, and then just one more time from our new plane here, so 25 mil. Let's input our last plane, so we got offset from plane, and we choose the original here, so this is the default XY plane, and here we'll select minus 200 millimeters and press enter. So here we have the five planes that we'll use uh, for our part in this tutorial. Let's start on the default plane, Let's start a 2D sketch. And here we use the two point center rectangle from the origin and we'll input a square here, which will be 60 millimeters. So press tab and then enter 60 again. So there we have our first sketch. Let's finish that sketch. And let's select this offset plane here, create a 2D sketch. And here we will input a circle again from the origin We'll put in here 50 millimeters in diameter. Finish that sketch. And we'll start a new sketch on this plane, which will be again a circle, but in this case, it will be 85 millimeters. Finish that sketch. And then we'll just input the final sketch here, which will be an offset of, uh, sorry, a pro projection of this circle here. So another 85 mil circle you could draw instead. So we'll begin to loft between these four sketches here. I'm just gonna turn off these, uh, the visibility of each of these planes. Okay, so we've got a 3D uh, model and we'll select the loft command. And here we will select our sketches that we want to loft between. So we'll select all of our sketches here. And then we'll select, okay. As you can see here, we have the, uh, the sort of handle, um, element of our part. We just need to draw the final geometry on this plane here. So let's select this sketch, start a 2D sketch. I'm just going to rotate the view cube like so. And here we'll draw in another two point center rectangle from the origin. And we'll dimension this as 150 in length. Press tab. We'll enter in a height of five millimeters. Press enter. Just going to rotate the model there and then we want our final loft to be between this sketch and this face here so we go to 3d model select the loft command we'll select this sketch here and then over here we'll just select yeah this profile now we can see that's the uh, correct loft that we want press ok i'm just going to hide that plane and then, yeah, there we have our part that's been uh, created using the loft command. I'm just going to touch this up a little bit with the fillet tool. So I'm going to drag um, across these edges here. I'm going to input a 5 mil fillet. So, okay, go to the home view. And there we have our completed part. If you have any questions about the loft command, uh, please post them in the comments section. But otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.